Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the channel, I'm Sharif. I was at the launch of the um, the Oxford uh, Slim C uh, the other day, so I thought I'd do the review, um, you know, about it. And uh, very nice uh, pieces of kit. Thanks for Oxford uh, for um, giving us, um, you know, two of them. We had two, uh, we've got the uh, purple and we've got the uh, the grey one. So instead of swapping coils and uh, what have you, I put the 0 0.6 in one and 0 0.8 on the other so you can see the difference. It's uh, very much the same like the first slim, no, uh, but no screen and it works with coils uh, this time. Unfortunately, the pods don't, <laughs> you cannot put one into the other. So I don't know, it's marketing stuff, I suppose. Let's go and um, have a look at it and um, you know show you the bits and pieces how it works, this is a three step wattage and uh, what have you. And come back and vape on it and uh, try both coils and tell you what I think. The box, uh, as you can see, you know, it's a very simple box. So that, as you can see, you know, the um, the mod is in the, in there visibly. You know, so you can see what sort of color you got. Uh, it comes also by way of sticker on the side. Slim C, there, replaceable coil. The C presumably is for coil, and you get a free lanyard for uh, those ones. Uh, the initial uh, release, I suppose. Replaceable coil, three level watt adjustment, airflow control, and a 900 milliamp worth of a battery. You get a lanyard as well that comes with it, as it's shown on the box. Your Type C cable is included as well, and you get two coils. Uh, they look very much the same. It's uh, 0 0.6 and uh, 0 0.8. You can also buy a 1.2 as well, and they fire at uh, different wattages according to the um, uh, the coil that you put in. The chip reads them, and it gives you the uh, the wattage. I like the idea they put it at the bottom there. The power of the um, of the ohm, as you can see. This is the um, 0 0.81 and uh, it fires uh, between 12 and 17 watts it's a three step adjustment for the battery i'll show you in a second and tell you uh, what the wattages are and uh, you can see the um, uh, the cotton there is a bit perforated and there is very very well uh, made and seals four seals actually i think this is the first time i've seen four seals on a coil uh, they usually three uh, two at the top and one at the bottom but uh, there we are and that's the mod there this um, I, I got two of them the uh, uh, the purple uh, purple turning into blue a bit of a gradient there very very nice it's very similar to the um, uh, slim uh, the, the first one the or the v2 uh, which is the current one and you got that's the button there i'll show you now and uh, you got your airflow here Airflow control very very good also. It's not um, it's not easy to slide, but um, you know you've got three holes there. One is bigger than the other for uh, your airflow control. Um, I like the idea. Uh, Slim C um, written there. Nothing um, on the back there and um, Oxva on the uh, at the bottom. And that's your um, Type C as well uh, for charging. The pods. Unfortunately, the pods do not fit each other. <laughs> the uh, slim and the uh, slim c uh, uh, just even size wise i show you that's the uh, slim one and uh, they don't fit so as you can see they're they're tiny bigger uh, so uh, there you are filling is very very much the same uh, you can see there it says open and uh, there might be a tiny bit of an arrow there but uh, you can all you do is just like that and it is a bit um, thin that rubber um, it, it doesn't swivel as such, but um, nevertheless, you still get a nice hole there for um, liquid to go in and uh, air to come out. As for the coil, it's just a, um, a pull push one. You just have to line up that with the um, uh, with the pod uh, that is in there, and that's it. It's got very good magnet as well for uh, you know when, when it clicks in, so it uh, and it's uh, you know it stays there. It's not uh, a flimsy one. Uh, the button uh, is just um, the uh, the usual stuff really five clicks on and off uh, four clicks is you switch the button off that, that's a very important one so now it's working you can hear it it's a very muted sound but it, nevertheless it works very well one two three four and then you get the flashing there and then when you push nothing happens as you can see nothing happens at all and you get some uh, lights you know blue red blue red you know telling you that the button is not working four clicks again and uh, away you go again one two three four and you get the green um, x there and there you go and it works uh, it works both ways you know auto and uh, manual 
So very well thought of. Some other companies have started doing that. So um, you know, it's a very good idea because if it's in a pocket or a handbag, um, it's uh, you know you don't want it fire on its own. The battery, the usual signs are. I mean, this one is on green now. It goes blue and red. You know, as it's been depleted. To control the wattages, um, it's three clicks. Uh, this is on the lowest um, at the moment. One, two, three. And it goes to medium, which is the blue. One, two, three. And it goes to green, which is the highest one. There's two coils that come with the kit, 0.6 and 0.8. You can buy the 1.2 um, separately. But as far as the wattages are concerned, I mean, it's written there. Uh, you got the 0.6 will give you between 18 and 25 watts. Uh, they're all mesh coils. And uh, the 0.8 will give you between 12 and 17 watts and 1.2 between 8 and 12 watts. When you put it in, the chip will um, read the uh, the coil and will give you the wattage for it. So the 0.6 will be set at 22. You can go up, you know, to the 25 after that. Uh, the 0.8 will uh, will be set at 17 watts again you can go down and uh, the 1.2 will be firing at 12 watts as a size comparison i've got a bit of a variety in here this is the um, uh, the slim uh, what i call it the v2 now and uh, you got the uh, ursa the lost vape ursa nano pro the uh, vapor so cross this is the cross three uh, and also the cross two i mean the, there is much differences very tiny differences in them and you get the Winax um, H1 uh, as well, uh, you know, and they're, they're all, I believe they're all very much the same battery, except that one is a thousand, uh, but they're very much all there. But well, we're comparing just the sizes, uh, you know, you can see there, um, you know, for those ones, uh, they're very much almost the same. And uh, their thickness wise, the difference is uh, negligible, really. Let's go and vape on it and uh, see what's it like. So I got the um, 0.6 I believe in here, uh, yes, I got the 0.6 and I got them set at the medium for both of them, uh, with the 0.6 and 0.8, so just to compare the uh, uh, the heat maybe um, and the amount of vapor, let's give it another go, That's on. Uh, that was on auto, this is on manual now with the button. A tad, you know, just a bit warmer with with the button. It's always the case with, with these things. Let's try the 0 0.8 on auto. It's a very nice vape, actually. Very smooth vape. Obviously, with the 0 0.8, it will be less uh, warmth or less heat. Warmth, I would say. Uh, but the amount of um, vapor is very much the same, really. The amount of vapor is very, very much the same, um, I would say. It, it does vary bits and pieces, um, as you've seen in the close-up and the wattages with the three-step, you know, it goes up and down and the chip reads, yeah, it's, it's very good that way. The airflow is very well. You can do an RDL, if it, I mean, this is open, this is 0 0.6 and open to the max, and I can still do an MTL on it, albeit um, a loose MTL, let's try it. You can do um, an RDL with that, yes. Um, it is an RDL, restricted direct lung, rather than the DL. I mean, DL with these things, you know, they're too small. But uh, nevertheless, you can do an RDL with that. Uh, there's no problem. That's a 0 0.6. On 0 0.8, let's open the airflow all the way. Uh, do it with the button this time. To be honest, I don't see much difference between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 in the airflow, while the airflow both of, uh, on both of them is all um, open to the max. What I noticed is the, uh, the heat, um, and I'm not saying hot, hot, I'm, I'm saying warmth. Uh, so the 0 0.6 is warmer, understandably, because it's a lower resistance uh, as opposed to the 0 0.8. I haven't tried the 1.2 um, on it, but if you want um, sort of a mellow vape, <laughs> or something like that 1.2 or if you are switching from uh, smoking maybe the 1.2 will be a um, uh, you know a good one to start with although i would say the 0 0.8 will be just uh, just about enough 
uh, to see you through you start with low and then you go upwards it's very well made i have to say there's no shaking or anything the pods stay in place the airflow doesn't move around <laughs> you know if it's in a pocket or um, or a handbag or um, stuff like that um, I like very, very much the idea of being able to switch the button off um, again if it's in a, a pocket or a handbag, it's not going to fire on its own. So that's, that's a very good idea. There's a couple of other companies that have done that, but um, nevertheless, it's well thought of. The aesthetics, uh, I mean, it looks nice in the hand. Uh, I mean, I love it. Um, it's very, very nice, very smooth finishes um, as well. So if I've forgotten anything uh, or if you want to know any other, um, uh, if you have any other questions, uh, please do let them in the comments uh, down there and um, I'll come back to you um, as soon as I quickly can. But I certainly do uh, recommend it. Um, it's a very, very nice uh, piece of kit. Very simple to operate. Um, it may work uh, in certain countries. It may work cheaper than uh, having uh, to change pods all the time. But, um, you know, in all... It, it's a good uh, kit, I would say, for uh, for the Slim C. Well done, Oxva, and thank you very much. The launch actually was very, very good. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.